The second thing we have to absolutely address, and it will take so long before you get anywhere with it, is lying. Lying, man. Kids lie. And they, they, they will convince themselves that they didn't. They will I didn't say that. I didn't say it. I never said that. I swear, you said it to me. I was there. I didn't. I recorded it. Here's the video. I didn't say it. I swear, I didn't. They, they'll watch the video and say, I didn't do it. They did not. You know why that happens? It happens because the first time they lied, and they actually admitted that they lied. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> like, you lied, my house? <laughs> so now, first you said, please tell me the truth. What did you actually say? And they finally said it, and then you came down with the axe. So the next time, like, I will take all of this. But once I admit that I lied, I know what comes next. You know, <laughs> I am not doing that again. I am not admitting to this crime again. Because pleading guilty in this house does not work out for you. You gotta stop that first. You cannot punish. You cannot punish extra for something that happened that's already made you angry. So your parent, the mother is angry because the child lied. Or because the child did something bad. Then she's angry because he lied about it. Then she's angry because she don't tell me the truth. I'm giving you one last chance. One last chance. I'm going to ask you one last time. Even though she's going to ask six more times. But she says one last time. Tell me, and this is the only time I'm going to ask. I'm not going to ask again. Did you do it? No. Okay, I'm going to ask one last time. <laughs> Before I tell your father. One more time. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And he'll go, he'll go to bed, he'll cry, he'll wake up, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, he'll stick to it. And you're like, how do I deal with this? And you say, I know you did it. I know you did it. You're making me even more angry. And you get angry, and he gets more defensive, and you get angry, and he gets more defensive. And you, at the end of the day, you start pulling out your hair, the husband comes home, I don't know what to do with this one. He lied. And you're like, you lied? No, no, it starts over again. <laughs> how, we, how do we have to deal with this? We have to take those situations and sometimes you just believe them even though you know they're lying. I believe you because I trust you. You wouldn't lie to me. You promised last time you wouldn't lie, so I trust you. And the other kid's like, buddy, he, he, acha, acha. I trust him. You're fine. You're not in trouble and let him get away with a lie three or four times. Guess what's gonna happen? Children are not inherently evil. Children are inherently good. N their nature is goodness. So when they do something bad, and you don't punish them for it, then they have an opportunity to ask their conscience. If you punish them for it, their conscience was not bothered, because they already got punished for it. When they get punished for it, they don't feel bad because they did something bad and they paid for it. It's done, there's no conscience. But if you don't punish them once in a while, I said pick your battles, you don't have to get them for every time. Pick your battles and say, okay, I trust you. You didn't do it. I know she, she must have got it wrong, she must not have remembered properly. When you slapped her, she must have been sleeping and imagining it. The, the mark on her face, she, I don't know, is red coloring, I don't know what it is. Doesn't even look like your hand, looks more like a foot. You know, so it's okay. You're not in trouble. You know what that does over time? Mama, I want to tell you something. I did do it. <laughs> and then you come and you console and you say, it's okay. It's okay. I still trust you. I still trust you. And you, what you've done is you've taken the child away from being defensive. But it takes a little bit of long-term thinking to be able to do that. You won't be able to do that the first time. Like the first, it's very hard to forgive those kinds of things, right? Especially if they hurt another child. If they wrong somebody else, it's hard. And you have to take that other child and take them to a corner and say, Beta, I know, I know, I trust you too. I'm not angry at you either. And I know they did something wrong. But you don't have to be happy if they get punished. That's the other thing. One, one child gets happiness only when the other one gets punished. And they get so used to Abba. She pulled my ear the other day. They just came back from, from Scotland, my family. And when the little one came to me and said, you know, Api, she pulled my ear one day. I was like, when? I don't know. 
one of the yesterdays. <laughs> I was like, what do you want me to do? He goes, punish her. <laughs> I was like, will I make you happy? Uh-huh. <laughs> Sometimes kids do that, they get a kick out of the other one getting punished. They do. You don't want to create that either. With little kids, with the two-year-old, it's okay. You want to entertain them. So you bring the older one, and you slap your own arm a couple of times, and you tell her to say, ow. You know, and she says, ow, ow, it hurts. And then, you happy now, Walid? Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. But with older kids, when they get happy, when the other one gets punished, that's a problem. That's a punishable offense. That itself is a punishable offense. Why are you happy? What do you get out of that? You know? That's something we have to, to address with our children. That's, so th there are two things so far. Tantrums, lying. Lying. And lying, it's a long-term process. You don't get lying out of somebody's system right away. Especially because they don't even see it as lying anymore. They just see it as saving themselves. And kids, when they lie a lot, you know what happens? They actually start believing it themselves. <laughs>